It feels like I've tried everything. Why don't I have an engaged and converting audience on social media? Hard truth is you're treating your audience like a booty call. Some of you may have seen my, um, my, my piece of content this week around, are you treating your audience like the Tinder swindler? Now, I know this isn't your intention, but what you're actually doing is you're treating your audience like a booty call. Meaning that you only connect with them when you want something. You're only engaging when you want them to engage on your content. You're only messaging them when you want to make an offer. They only see you when you want something rather than you just showing up to be in relationship with them. Relationships are ultimately at the end of the day what a long term business is built on. Most businesses don't go beyond five years. One of the key reasons is because you don't know who to build a relationship with and how to build a long term relationship with people. If you want engagement, you have to be engaging. And not just engaging when you want something, but really be dedicated to the relationship. But again, the theme of today's AMA is around strategy. Being fluffy about your relationship building is still going to get you $0. Thinking that the universe is just going to send you the right people is going to give you zero dollars. Creating a podcast or writing a book without a strategy on how to have it convert is going to give you zero dollars. Creating a Facebook group or running Facebook ads without having a business that's already working and with a solid strategy is going to give you zero dollars. So like those things that we've already spoken about on today's AMA, pardon me, in addition to that, when it comes to building relationships, while you want to come from your heart, you must still have a strategy. So you're not wasting your time because your time is what equates to your energy and your energy is what equates to dollars in the bank. So it is wise to have a strategy and be consistent with that strategy. Consistency is key. As Usain Bolt said, he spent four years training about six hours a day to run a nine second race. And most people give up on a strategy that, they've tr that they're trying when they don't see what they deem as results in kind of six to eight weeks. And it's about the time that you're about to give up where you are so close to the gold. The key is in knowing what the right strategy is and executing it consistently with your mentor instead of trying to do these things on your own. And no, just showing up to a coaching session once a week and getting some info is not your mentor working with you. You want to be in relationship with your mentor while you're executing, but also get them to personalize the strategy for you and your audience so that it does convert. And so you are using your time efficiently and effectively. Now, our business builder sessions, mind blown, it equates to about $4 a session. And this is where I do the work with you. If you're working one-on-one -on -one with me, I personalize the strategy, but you don't have to be working one-on-one -on -one with me to get the benefits. You get a strategy and then we apply it in real time together. We find where your people are. We get clear on what the message is that they are gonna connect with. And I show you how to meaningfully convert those people. And it's $4 a session. This is incredible. And we can do it up to six times together a week. You're not alone. We build your business with strategy and principles for long term success. So that link is in the chat team. If you are, I know some of you here today are already in Business Builder. If you're not, get the $4 a session, give up the Netflix if you have to, sell a bloody dining chair. What is your future worth? 
It's time you got to work, not on your own, but with somebody. And I am here and I'm ready to serve you when you're ready. Hey, hey, we are live. It is Ask Me Anything. It is Friday in Australia. It's Thursday for the rest of you. So this is your weekly Ask Me Anything. And what a week it's been. It's been a big week, actually. So if you are here with me, give me a I'm here below. And if you're catching the replay, of course, let us know. Hashtag replay. So we've had some pretty incredible questions come through. And I'm going to give you a recap on what they are before we get into them. Yeah. So the first one is about how do I personally manage everything that has to be done in business? So if you're, you know, struggling and feel like you never have enough time, then this is going to be a great one for you. Hey, Marianne. Um, the other questions are, what do you find the best way to repurpose content? What's the best way to do that? When is the right time to start a Facebook group or run ads? And it feels like I've tried everything. Why don't I have an engaged and converting audience on social media? So these are some pretty, pretty handy questions that are going to help you move forward in your business. Um, Marianne's here with us. If you're getting the replay, let us know. Hashtag replay below. All right. I'm not going to tell any fancy stories today. I'm just going to get straight into it because um, many of you are struggling with the amount of tasks that are required of you and also feel like your, your time is just so split between family responsibilities, trying to have clients to serve, this marketing rubbish that everybody tells us we're supposed to do. Um, and it just becomes really, really overwhelming. And it can be really difficult to have clarity on how to prioritize or what to prioritize, pardon me, what to prioritize. So the first thing that you want to remember is this. You are a coach, but that doesn't necessarily make you a business person. Now, what do I mean by that? I don't mean that you're not a business person and I don't mean that you can never um, become a business person. Um, but if you lack clarity on what you should be focusing on in your business, it's because you haven't been taught what to focus on in your business. And I see so many of like coaches, whether you've been here for five minutes or you've been doing it for 10 years, focusing on the wrong things. And the wrong things are the things that do not move the needle in your business and give you the freedom and the flexibility that you're trying to create. Pardon me. Hey, Andy, welcome. Morning, morning. Right. So here's this is like actually like a huge, huge problem that I reckon there's not enough information out there for coaches. You know how to coach your clients. You're excellent at that. You see the transformation. You see the impact. But when it comes to growing a business, you're not there's it, there's a lack of information out there on how to do that. And often what's happening is you'll sign up for business programs, but they're giving you the mindset component only. They're not giving you the strategy and mindset is a huge, huge component. But mindset alone is not going to move the needle for you, certainly not consistently. So what I find is that you really are struggling to move beyond a particular, um, it's like there's a ceiling above you that you just can't get past because you actually don't know what to focus on as a business person, not a coach. There's a difference. You Just because you're a coach doesn't mean you're a business person. That's a different skill that we need to learn. Now, I see a lot of people out there focusing on the flashy things that they think they're supposed to focus on. A logo, a business name, a website. The most far out one that I see consistently is when you go and engage with a branding strategist or a content strategist. 
Oh my Lord, no. No, no, no. Your business should be paying you and it should be paying for itself to grow before you even think about looking at branding, strategy, websites, any of it. My business has been going for a number of years and as many or as many of you will know, it does multiple six figures a year. It is just this month that I have started conversations with a branding strategist. If you do not have consistency in your revenue and if your business is not paying for both you and itself to grow, it is not time to look at a branding strategist, a content strategist, a website, a logo, None of that flashy, flashy stuff is going to make a difference for you or your future clients. Not yet. Your business is an entity on its own that has to pay for itself. So the only thing that you should be focused on is getting clients, serving them well, and repeating that process till you get consistency. Until you have consistency month on month in your revenue, there is nothing else you need to focus on. Nothing else is gonna make the difference for you or your future clients. Stop getting distracted with the stuff that doesn't matter. By the way, team, I've seen that there's people jumping on since we first started. So if you're here, let me know. Say, I'm here in the comments below because I do want to shape the examples today from the questions around you and who's here um, because that's how you get the most out of this time. So I can see Mary Ann's here. Andy's here, which is awesome to see you, Andy. It's been a little while. Um, but let me know if you're here. Give me a I'm here in the comments below so that I can make sure you get the most out of today as well. Okay, so... Basically, to recap, the only thing you need to focus on in your business is bringing in clients, serving those clients well, and repeating the process until your business is paying for you and paying for its growth. Now, what does that mean? Which rolls us into the next question. What does it mean for a business to pay for its own growth? Well, a business is like a tree. It's like a seed. You have an idea. You're inspired to do something and share something with this world. That is the seed. When you decide to go out and be a coach and share your message and share your mission, what you're doing is you're planting the seed in soil. As you start to serve, that seed starts to grow through the people that you're serving. But equally, as you're serving them and sharing your impact, which now it starts to flourish, you know, nationally, internationally, wherever that is for you, you're also bringing in or you're reaping the rewards of the seed that you planted, meaning that when you serve, you're paid in monetary value. That revenue should be in an account rather than you going and spending that revenue on a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't need it doesn't need to be used or spent coaches are struggling because you don't have cash flow and not you it's not you that has the cash flow it's your business you and your business are separate entities you're actually an employee of that business but many coaches are looking at it like a job Oh, well, I've got this money this week from this client that paid me. No, your business and you are separate entities. And that business should have cash flow to pay for its growth, to pay for the strategies that is required and the tools and the structures that are required to take your business to the next level, 
to engage with a branding strategist when you're at six figures or beyond and not a minute before. If you don't have consistent clients, if you don't have consistent revenue, there is nothing else that you need. That is the source of life to your business. Making sales, serving people well, making more sales. Everything else comes after that. So another version of looking at a branding strategist or, or you know, trying to get content strategies in place, what you might be doing is thinking about creating a Facebook group or running Facebook ads, which was one of the questions that came in. The question was, when is the right time to start a Facebook group or run ads? Most people think it's time to start a Facebook group or run Facebook ads because they're trying to avoid a problem. The problem being you don't have consistent sales in your business. So you think that you've got to do another strategy, create something else. This is why you're exhausted. You don't start a new strategy to run away from what's not working. You engage a new strategy to grow what is working and scale to the next level. So you engage a new strategy, whether it's Facebook ads, a Facebook group, a branding strategy, strategist, not to run away from what's not working, but to grow and expand what is working. Most of the time people start Facebook ads or start a Facebook group or go and work with a branding strategist because they're looking for a quick fix. It's like changing platforms. Oh, Facebook doesn't work for me. I'll just go to LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn's not working. I'll just go to Instagram. Instagram's not working. I'll go to Twitter. You can't run away from the problems that are going on inside of your business. And the problem that's going on inside of your business is that you don't know how to run a business. You know how to coach. There's a difference. So the only time to start a Facebook group, to run Facebook ads or to, you know, a branding strategist, any new thing in your business is about further growth, not about trying to fix a problem. And most people know how to coach, but they don't know how to create and expand a business. And there's a big difference. We've had this conversation in recent times around time and energy and money. Let me just jump into the chat real quick. Hey, Chad, great to see you. I can see there is a few of you here. So let me know that it's you. Give me a, give me a I'm here in the, in the comments below. So I can shape these examples around you and what you're up to as well, because I do know many of you. Um, so just on this whole, the difference between being a coach and running a business, right, and starting new strategies. Um, if you are feeling like you're just doing a lot, you're expelling a lot of energy and you feel like it's not converting, it's not working for you. This is because you don't know what you're supposed to focus on and it's not your fault. You just haven't been taught. But the reason that you're exhausted and at the end of the day and the end of the week and the end of the month, your revenue, when you look at what you've bought in, still doesn't match what you've put out is because you're focused on the wrong activity. You can be doing activity and you probably are and you're probably overexerting the amount of activity that you're doing. But if it's not the right activity, then it's actually not going to grow your business or you. It's actually going to bring you backwards. You're going to feel tired, depleted, disheartened, frustrated. Question what you are doing. Question your niche. Question yourself. One of the things I've been working with my one-on-one -on -one clients, um, most of them actually, in the last couple of weeks, is, is their calendars and their time, what they're doing with their time. Because if you don't lock down what you're doing day by day, even down into hour by hour, 
you are going to struggle to grow your business. The reason is this. Your time equates to energy. And your energy equates to money. So when you're putting your time into tasks that do not inspire you, energize you and don't grow your business, Rather than expanding your energy, which means an expansion in income, you actually deplete your energy, which depletes your bank balance. But when you know where to put your time and what tasks to do within that time that give you a return on your investment for your time, it then equates to more energy within you, inspired energy, which then converts to more inspired revenue and income. So the reason that people need to go out and get a whole bunch of energy healing sessions is because they're not using their time that they've got appropriately. So they're absolutely exhausted and they're looking for the fix through an energy healing session. And I know that that statement is going to offend some of you and it's not my intention to do so. But if you're triggered, I would encourage you to have a look at, is it because there's some truth in that? Your time equates to energy and your energy equates to money. If you're not honoring your time and doing the highest, most inspiring tasks that grow your business, strategically, then of course you're, you're tired at the end of the day, the end of the week. So then you've got to go and look for the energy healing sessions rather than getting to the root cause of the problem, which is fix your freaking calendar and know what a business strategy is. Do that and you can go to your energy healing because you want to expand what you've got, not run away from a problem. See the theme here? If you are thinking about Facebook ads, if you are thinking about starting a Facebook group, if you're thinking about going to a brand strategist, if you're thinking about going and getting an energy healing session, if it's to do it because something's not working, all you're doing is, is uh, putting gasoline on the fire of the problem. But if you're doing it because things are already working and you want to grow and expand, then guess what? The energy healing session, the Facebook ads, the Facebook group, the branding strategist, you put fire on, you put gasoline on that fire, which means that that's what's expanding. So you want to know the difference between am I coming from inspiration or am I coming from desperation? Because whatever you do is going to further magnify that. We can't run away from our problems. We're just going to create more if we don't get to the root cause of what's causing those problems. And often it starts with your calendar and it starts with knowing how to grow a business. You've got to have a strategy for growth. And just sitting there and going, I trust that the right people at the right time will see my message and come and work with me it's half the equation. It's not, you need a strategy. Valdis, hello. Osman, hello. Give me a hashtag strategy if this is making sense to you that you can see that you're a great coach, but maybe there's some gaps in your knowledge on how to actually grow a business and maybe it's time to get clear on how to prioritize your day, your week, your month, your quarter, your year, if you want to grow a business. So to recap, to just kind of summarize that, if you are looking to do something new in your business, whether it's a Facebook group, ads, strategist, or even go and get an energy healing session, if it's not because you're trying to expand what's working, if it is because you're trying to run away from what's not working, you're going to get more of the same. 
Marianne gets it. Ben, Valdis, Osman. Awesome, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for connecting with me. It's Friday. Are we ready for the weekend? I'm going down the coast this weekend to do, guess what? Guess what I'm doing this weekend? Business strategy. So I'm taking myself to the coast. I've got the entire weekend to work through my plan and look at the next stages of what's going to get me to expansion from what's already working. So I've set aside my weekend to do that because strategy is important. I don't just say things, I do them as well. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit more time and there's a couple of questions left to get through. So one of the questions was, what do you find is the, um, the best way to repurpose content? All right, this is a really great question because it kind of flows into making sure you've got a good strategy for the things that you're doing inside of your business. All of those things that you do consistently should have a structure, a simplified structure that is repeatable because that's where you save time because you don't want to be bogged down doing tasks that you are constantly doing in your business. If you're doing something like creating content in your business and it's something that you do every day, week or month, then you should have a strategy for how to do that efficiently. And yes, we want to create content from our heart, but again, that's only half the equation. So to answer the question, what do you find is the best way to repurpose content? Okay, before you even think about what is the most efficient way to repurpose your content, what you need to understand is it doesn't matter how good your strategy is for repurposing content if your content is terrible. Meaning, if you go and repurpose crap content, you're just going to get more of the same, which is no conversions. Kind of tough, huh? Hard truth. Don't bother repurposing content that isn't converting. Because all you're doing, like what we just spoke about in the previous question, is putting gasoline on the fire of crap. You're running away from the problem. If your content isn't connecting and converting and you keep repurposing those messages, you're going to continue to have no clients, certainly not consistently. So from a repurposing perspective, the, the first thing that you want to do is get clear on what the messages are that your audience wants to hear. Because you only want to repurpose the messages that your audience actually connects and resonates with. If you're, so if you're just repurposing for the sake of saving time, you're actually just wasting time because the stuff that you're doing isn't converting. So we do want to have a repurpose system in place, but we want to make sure we're repurposing the messages that our audience connects and converts from. Step one. Meaning, get clear on what are the messages that your audience wants to, wants to hear and have a list of key pillars. <laughs> Chad, don't repurpose rubbish. Yeah, don't repurpose crap, right? <laughs> crap is crap out. <laughs> Osmond. <laughs> right, you guys get it. You can repurpose all day long, but if it's crap, it ain't going to do nothing. So that's the first step. You want to ask yourself, what are the messages that my audience wants to hear and have them as key pillars? Because they're the things that you want to repurpose, not the stuff that you just want to share. Because otherwise it's just doing more of the same. It's doing the tasks in your business that aren't growing your business. And then you get tired and frustrated and then you need to go to an energy healing session and spend more money. Your business should be paying for that energy healing session. Not you. Right, You have to pay for this energy healing session because you're exhausted because you didn't build revenue consistently because what you're doing isn't working. We need strategy. It saves you so much time, I promise you. So step one, get really clear on what are the messages that your audience actually connects and converts from and have those as a list of key pillars. We do this inside of Connect With Content. You get really clear on what the pillars are that your audience wants to hear. Then once you're clear on that, you then need a strategy to create content that actually connects and converts. 
Social media is busy, guys. There's messages coming at people every time they open up their smartphone. And it's not just from social media. It's missed calls, text messages, you know, banking apps, the whole lot. Every time someone picks up this baby, they're bombarded. It's really hard for you to cut through the noise of their phone, let alone the noise of social media. This is why we do the content masterclass every single month. So you can bring your heart to what you're sharing, but you've got to have a strategy based on human behavior principles for how you structure a piece of content. There is a structure for how to write a list post, how to write a testimonial. Please stop sharing testimonials about you. No one cares. You've got to know how to share the testimonial in a way that gets people to care. How to create a storytelling post. How to create a how-to post. There are human behavior structures for each of those. So you want to bring your heart but have the strategy so that it stops people in their scroll and keeps them there. Keeps them reading and connecting with your message. That's step two. And then step three is about repurposing because now you are create, you're sharing messages that your, content, your audience cares about, pardon me, and you're creating the content that converts them. So now you can repurpose. It's going to work. Hurrah! <laughs> so when it comes to repurposing, what you want to do, we have a database for people that work with me one-on-one -on -one now. We set up a OneNote database. And you might use OneNote, or you might use Google folders, you might have something else. But basically, I give you the structure for how to um, have your pillars that you that we've already done the work on. So we know your audience cares about these messages, by the way, it's not just what you want to give them. We have gotten clear that these are the pillars that convert. And then what you want to do is have your content stored in each of the pillars. The content that connected got engagement and converted not the crap that didn't because otherwise you're just going to share crap again that doesn't convert and then what you want to do is you want to share or repurpose those messages into different types of content so for example if i know that one of my messages uh, that my audience resonates with is making more sales that's a pillar <clears throat> and then I know because I've got a template database, which many of you have also got because you come to the masterclasses. I've got a template database based on human behavior principles of how to structure all different types of content, testimonial posts, list posts, how to posts, um, storytelling posts, the lot. And then what I do is I create my make more sales message in different types of content. So now I've got maybe 15 different types of content for the one message, make more sales message. It's got 15 different types. I can then even go as far as to repurpose that into now a video, a written piece of content, an email, a, 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 you know, a training, a teaching, a workshop. This is where strategy becomes so important because now you're not reinventing the wheel constantly. This is what's taking up time that could be you connecting with people and converting them to clients. So make sure you're clear on what are the messages that my audience wants to actually hear and that they actually convert from. Make sure you're creating content using both your heart but also human behavior strategies for how to structure that content so that you keep them and capture them. So they convert and then have it stored in a very specific database that allows you to repurpose and reuse. All right, we are on time. I'm going to go for two more minutes, right? Because the other question that we've got, which I know you can relate to is, it feels like I've tried everything. Why don't I have an engaged and converting audience on social media? Hard truth is you're treating your audience like a booty call. Some of you may have seen my, um, my, my piece of content this week around, are you treating your audience like the Tinder swindler? Now, I know this isn't your intention, but what you're actually doing is you're treating your audience like a booty call. 
meaning that you only connect with them when you want something. You're only engaging when you want them to engage on your content. You're only messaging them when you want to make an offer. They only see you when you want something rather than you just showing up to be in relationship with them. Relationships are ultimately at the end of the day what a long-term business is built on. Most businesses don't go beyond five years. One of the key reasons is because you don't know who to build a relationship with and how to build a long-term relationship with people. If you want engagement, you have to be engaging. And not just engaging when you want something, but really be dedicated to the relationship. But again, the theme of today's AMA is around strategy. Being fluffy about your relationship building is still going to get you zero dollars. Thinking that the universe is just going to send you the right people is going to give you zero dollars. Creating a podcast or writing a book without a strategy on how to have it convert is going to give you zero dollars. Creating a Facebook group or running Facebook ads without having a business that's already working and with a solid strategy is going to give you zero dollars. So like those things that we've already spoken about on today's AMA, pardon me, in addition to that, when it comes to building relationships, while you want to come from your heart, you must still have a strategy. So you're not wasting your time because your time is what equates to your energy and your energy is what equates to dollars in the bank. So it is wise to have a strategy and be consistent with that strategy. Consistency is key. As Usain Bolt said, he spent four years training about six hours a day to run a nine second race. And most people give up on a strategy that, they've tr that they're trying when they don't see what they deem as results in kind of six to eight weeks. And it's about the time that you're about to give up where you are so close to the gold. The key is in knowing what the right strategy is and executing it consistently with your mentor instead of trying to do these things on your own. And no, just showing up to a coaching session once a week and getting some info is not your mentor working with you. You want to be in relationship with your mentor while you're executing, but also get them to personalize the strategy for you and your audience so that it does convert. And so you are using your time efficiently and effectively. Now, our business builder sessions, mind blown, it equates to about $4 a session. And this is where I do the work with you. If you're working one-on-one -on -one with me, I personalize the strategy, but you don't have to be working one-on-one -on -one with me to get the benefits. You get a strategy and then we apply it in real time together. We find where your people are. We get clear on what the message is that they are gonna connect with. And I show you how to meaningfully convert those people. And it's $4 a session. This is incredible. And we can do it up to six times together a week. You're not alone. We build your business with strategy and principles for long-term success. So that link is in the chat team. If you are, I know some of you here today are already in Business Builder. If you're not, get the $4 a session, give up the Netflix if you have to, sell a bloody dining chair. What is your future worth? It's time you got to work, not on your own, but with somebody. And I am here and I'm ready to serve you when you're ready. So team, whether it's Thursday or Friday, I hope you have an incredible weekend. 
Um, and give me a hashtag weekend if you're looking forward to doing something exciting this weekend. For me, like I said, I'm going down to the beach. I'm going to work on my business strategy. Big things are coming. Big things are coming. As I mentioned, I've just started conversations with a strategist to go to my next level because the things I'm doing are working and now we want to put gasoline on that fire. So it's time for me to reevaluate my strategy, which I'm super, super inspired by. Valdis, have an incredible sleep. Osman, great to see you. Ben, have an incredible weekend doing the bushcraft course. Teresa, metaphysical fair sounds incredible. Um, Andy, if you're still here, it was great to see you. Thank you so much to all of you for being here and sharing this space and time with me. I so appreciate it. I love connecting with you and I love being in conversation with you. If you need anything, please shout out. And until I see you in the next Business Builder session or in this community, take care. See you team.